Hey guys, welcome to Lamination Bootcamp. Today I wanna to share with you some tips and tricks and teacher hacks that I've learned over my years of being a teacher for laminating things at home. Now I'm not just talking about the regular, just put a piece of paper in a pouch and laminate them. I wanna share some things with you that are just going to blow your mind and change how you view laminating things at home. Before we get started, I want to share with you the laminators that I use at home and the pouches that I use at home as well. Anytime during this video, you can either swipe up if we're on Instagram or if we're on Facebook or YouTube, you can click any of the links below or above this video to find anything that I'm mentioning in this video. This is the laminator that I use at home. I do have two of this laminator to make laminating quicker. I'll put both on at the same time and slip things in. But I get this laminator at Walmart or Target and it's typically 18 to $20. So this is the regular size laminator. So you can laminate in the regular pouches, anything that is A4 size or smaller. This is the larger Scotch laminator. This is the 13 inch laminator. And if you want to laminate larger things like file folders, this is the one you're going to need. I have purchased this on Amazon and I actually do have two of this one as well. So I can laminate double at the same time. When it comes to lamination pouches, again, I'm also partial to the Scotch brand. I get this 200 pack of pouches on Amazon and I usually stock up when they go on sale for about $20. So that's a great price for 200 pouches. I've tried other brands and I don't like them as much. They're either peeling too soon, they're folding when I'm laminating things, and I just, I really like the Scotch brand, but you can use any brand of pouches that you want to. Here you'll see the regular lamination pouches, and then these are the ones that you'll use for larger items like file folders or anything larger that you wanna laminate. Although, hold on a minute, I do have a trick to laminate larger things than this. So this is the three milliliter, this is the five. I keep them in the, this one in the pouch. The five milliliter is thicker. I like to use those for answer pieces. But for the file folders and things, I do use this size in the three milliliter. They are not a Scotch brand. I know, shocking. But I will link the brand of pouches that I use for the larger lamination with the swipe up or it will be linked below this video. Here comes trick number one. If you are not a print, cut, and laminate like me, you like to cut, laminate, and cut, this trick is for you. All you need is a lamination pouch, a glue stick, and your pieces that you've already cut out. And I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. You're going to take your piece that's already cut out, you're going to add a dot of glue to the back, and then you're going to put it on your piece of pouch and you're gonna continue that to fill up the whole pouch. Then, as you glued it, none of your pieces are going to fall out of your pouch now or move in the midst of laminating. So now, you can laminate and not worry about any of the pieces moving on your pouch. If that lamination trick didn't make your mind explode, this next one sure is. When it comes to laminating things at home, the only thing is that you have to put each pouch in by itself. So you have to stay close by so you can laminate everything in a reasonable amount of time. Not anymore. Let me show you this next trip where you can put multiple things of lamination in at once, walk away, let it laminate and do its thing, and come back with everything laminated. Here's your pouches, these three things I want to laminate. All you need is a little bit of tape. So you're going to line up your pouches. So this is gonna be the first one that goes in. This is my sealed end. This is my non-sealed end. This is the next pouch with the sealed end. I'm going to overlap them ever so slightly and add a tiny little piece of tape to both sides and maybe a little bit here. All three of my lamination pouches are attached with two pieces of tape. Let's stick them in the laminator. It works! I just took each piece off. I actually just folded the tape over because I'm going to be cutting on these edges. And now I have three pieces of lamination ready to go that I only had to stick in one time. Is your mind blown or is your mind blown? 
Now let's pretend here that you're making a bulletin board or you're putting some words up that you want to laminate and that pesky little seam on the lamination pouch is giving you trouble and splitting up your words and making it look funny. I have a solution for you. See how the word today is cut because when I printed it, it was two separate pieces of paper. I don't want it to be two separate pieces in a lamination pouch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second lamination pouch just cut along the seam and then tape it over top here and put it together and send it through. Last tip, are you ready for it? Tip number four. Teachers are always strapped for time. So if you want to be more efficient when it comes to laminating things, have two laminators going at once. If you're a teacher who doesn't have whiteboards for all of your kids or you're looking for an inexpensive way to have a dry erase surface in your classroom, laminating pieces of cardstock or even just regular paper will give you that option to have something students can use with dry erase markers. So these are the pieces of paper that I just laminated. They are pieces of extra bright cardstock in a three lamination, uh, three milliliter lamination pouch. And these are just regular Expo markers. You can give each student one, so if you wanted to color code, um, you can have them do math homework. You can have them draw things. You can have them practice writing their name, write the date. Now you are team ready to laminate all the things. And are you really even a teacher if you don't have an at-home laminator? I don't know. Let me know what you think here. Let's take a quick look at how to use the larger 13 inch Scotch thermal laminator to laminate a file folder. I've gotten my file folder ready. I have everything glued onto the file folder that I want for this errorless task. Now with these lamination pouches, you don't have to cut anything off of the folder, but the little end does stick out. My laminator is ready. I like to put it on five milliliter for the pouches, even though they're three milliliter, especially when I'm doing file folders. This is telling me that the the pouch needs to go in and come out this way. So all you're going to do is stick it in and let it do its magic. <laughs> 